Today, we'll take a look at the V4 battery charger. So we got our instructions, and we got the charger. So we got venting on the right, looks like we got a plug for the car. On the left side, we got our AC plug, and then we got our interface on the front. So we got our AC plug, and we got our battery terminal clamps. And you can't see they are properly labeled, so this is negative, this is positive, and they are correctly color-coded black and red. They have nice, strong clamps on them and good looking teeth that can dig into those terminals. And we can see that the plug is designed well, so we don't have to worry about plugging that in the wrong way. That will just slide right in. It looks like it came some eyelets as well, just in case you're having trouble finding a way of connecting to the battery. We have a pretty nice looking interface on there, so we can see our volts and amps. We can also set the volts and amps right here, so we can able to do it automatically, or we can set it ourselves. So right there is 12 volts, and we could set it for 5 amps, 10, or 20 amps. That's going to be more important, I think, if we need to go into force mode. So if we have a battery that is completely dead, so you can force power through it, but you want to make sure that you're setting the correct voltage. So we got lead acid, we got life PO4, and it can also recharge lithium batteries, which not all chargers can do that, so that's excellent. Up here it's set for charging. We can set it to maintain, so if the battery is already charged, but we're going to be going away from it for a while, we just want to make sure that's going to be ready to go when we come back to it. We can use this charger as a simple maintainer. We got desulfation, so we can use that, and we have force mode. Now at this point, if I hit play, then it's going to start charging. So this battery, I believe, is completely dead. It might not even be salvageable, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Negative, positive, positive. Yeah, so we're reading zero volts, so we're going to go to force mode. And I want to change this to 12 volts, and we'll just run that at 20 amps. Okay, so it's starting to build a charge. So, let's just see what it does. So it looks like we are getting something. So I'm going to let that run overnight. And uh, we'll come back to it tomorrow. Okay. Cool. There we go.